Hi, question number two taken from June 2014 Advanced Level Maths HSCP3. Use the substitution u is equal to 1 plus 3 tan x to find the exact value of the integral of square root of 1 plus 3 tan x divided by cos square x with respect to dx um, using limits from 0 to uh, pi upon 4. Okay, so let's do this one now. Five marks. Here we are. This is the question. We need to integrate this and we need to use this substitution here. <clears throat> First of all, I'm going to find the new values of u. Now, what is u? Now, u is equal to 1 plus 3 tan x. 1 plus 3 tan. What is the first value here? 0. And tan 0 is going to give you 0 anyway, so therefore u is equal to 1. Okay. And what is the second one? So the second one is u is equal to, again, 1 plus 3 tan of x. This is basically 1 plus 3 tan x is pi upon 4. And what is pi upon 4? <clears throat> pi upon 4 is 45 degrees. This is 1. Therefore, we're going to have to say 3 times 1. And u is going to give us 4. So the new limits are 1 and 4. The second thing when you have substitution in integral integration, <clears throat> you will need to differentiate this. So you know that u is equal to um, 1 plus 3 tan of x. If I differentiate this, I'm going to get du. Differentiate 1, you're going to get 0. Differentiate 3 tan x, you're going to get 3 sec square x. Now what is 3 sec square x? It's basically saying 3 over cos square x. This is du, right, over dx. But what do we have here? We have dx. So therefore we're going to make dx over du. And then dx over du is going to give us cos square x over 3. So this is what we're going to use. Now, let's move on to the integration. Alright, so the integral of it's no longer pi upon 4, but it is 4. So 4, 0 is 1. So we have 1. And then what else? This is your integration. Now, you were told that this 1 plus 3 tan x is equal to u. 1 plus 3 tan x is equal to u. So instead of saying integral uh, square root of the whole thing, I'm going to say square root of u. All right, divide by cos square x as given in the question times dx and what is dx? dx is cos square x over 3 so cos square x over 3 so this goes out and du so that's going to be 4 1 what do we have? what is square root of u anyway? it is u to the power of half okay divided by 3 basically we can send the 3 on the other side we can say 1 third and then inside we're going to integrate um, u to the power of half. How can we integrate u to the power of half? Quite easy. So one third, therefore u to the power of half is, you just add one, that's going to become u to the power of 3 over 2. Okay, divide by the new power, 3 over 2, so divide by 3 over 2. If you divide by 3 over, 2, 3 over 2, you can see it's going to become 2 over 3 times u to the power of 3 over 2. And therefore you end up with um, 2 over 9 times a u to the power of 3 over 2. And then now you're going to have to put your limits. What are your limits? The limits are 4 and 1. So if you do put 4 and 1 here, what is 4 to the power of 3 over 2? So that's just do it in your calculator. So 4 to the power of 3 over 2 is 1.5. It's going to give us 8. Okay. So we have then 2 over 9 times 8 minus what is 1 to the power of 3 over 2? 1 to the power of 3 over 2 is 1 itself. So 1 times 2 over 9 is so 1 times 2 is 2 over 9 and basically what do we have 2 times 8 is 16 
16 over 9 minus 2 over 9. And the answer should be then the exact value is 14 over 9. Here we are for the second question.